Welcome to Look At Her, the Hey Queen after show where our super celebrity guest looks at some of the queens she's played with, slayed with, or even laid with. And she'll spill a little tea. Oh. Mm. Mm. Definitely not tension tamer. <laughs> or throw a little shade. Yeah. Or just tell us something that we don't know. Our guest today is the stunning Vixen. <laughs> Looking so good. Thanks, baby. Oh, and look, we all have little drinks right here, and you have a purple one. Of yes. weird little buzz boxes. They're juice boxes with alcohol. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. That's not your mama's Capri Sun. <laughs> no, it is not. <laughs> Lady Red, how are you doing over there? Did you finish your gigantic box of chicken? Oh, um, yes. And now I have a um, classic Cosmo. Oh, you've gone from a giant uh, Chinese takeout box, which I think is still over there, to the tiniest juice box in the world. You know, I got a lot going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. And you're looking good doing it. Well, thank you so much. And of course, oh my goodness, we have the fellas from Echo V right here, oh, yes. Everybody's favorite gay boy band. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looking good, fellas. Follow them on Instagram at Echo V, right? Echo v music. All right, well, shake your cute booties out of here. Oh, Looking good. Oh, my goodness. They sound like angels and they look like angels, too. <laughs> All right, Vixen, honey, I know you know how to play this game, don't you? I'm familiar. I think you are. <laughs> so uh, it's pretty simple. You're going to look and then you're going to spill. Let us begin. Look at her. Yes! Ah, Miss Shady kool honey. Shady Kool-Lady. Um, uh, you kind of came to prominence sort of for a larger audience in the uh, cocky video. Yes! Shay is like, like, like literally in the cocky song I say, Shady Kool-Lady, you paving the way. And like she really does like, I, I, See her go through it, and then I decide how I'm gonna do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, um, and like it's been that way, even in Chicago. Like Shay was like kind of just like a step ahead of me, and like career-wise. And so like I knew that once she got on Drag Race, then I could get on Drag Race. Mm. But I was not gonna beat her to the to the workroom. Uh, and that's what our song "Baddest Bitch in the Room" is about. Is like until I go to the next room. "Baddest Bitch in the Room" until I go to the next room means. Once I'm done here, then you can be bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> and it's like it's like our joke. It's like I'm I'm killing this, and you're you're cute, but you're not gonna snap until I'm out of the room. So right. just hold tight. <laughs> and like <laughs> and so like I love Shay because she has always had my back. She handles things a lot differently, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I you know I take notes and I make some adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> but Shay has always like had my back. You know like. You know, she really did pave the way in Chicago. And, like, she had filmed season nine right when I started Black Girl Magic. So she came back from filming, and I was like, I need you to be in this show. Mm. And she gave so much to it, and she did so much. And we're going to have her in it again soon. And, like, just, like, having a sister and what we used to call it before we got more vocal, we called it our kitchen table talks is when... Like, the second, like, me and Shay would be the only two people in the dressing room, she would be like, girl, these motherfuckers, it's getting on my... And it was like, <laughs> you just need that second to look at your sister and just be like, can you believe that bullshit? Like, and that's the importance of having, like, a dressing room full of black queens sometimes. It's like, we just need to say the thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shay is always, like, said the thing. Yeah. What's, uh, when you and Shay are not having to be your public personas and you guys just get to hang out, what do you like to do? Smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot hang. She, she, she's, she will put you under a table <laughs> with the greenery. But yeah, Smoke, um, one of my favorite and earliest memories is us going to uh, this restaurant, Dan Sung Sa. It was, you know, um, Asian cuisine, but you know, she's a little fancy. And mm. so she like put me on to like some good Vietnamese food and stuff like that. And it was just like, 
the first time that I had like a sisterhood with a girl in Chicago, she was like, all right, you're a lot. <laughs> like, like, let's talk about how we can like get you through the door a little smoother. And mm. she was the, one of the first people to like level with me and be like, I mean, obviously you're talented, but like, let's approach it a little smarter. And I listened a little bit. <laughs> bit by bit, bit every by day. Bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sister right yeah, there. Yeah, that's a good sister. Look at her. Asia. Asia O'Hara. This she said, we are like wounded puppies when we see each other. Oh, yeah. She's like, are you all right? I'm like, I'm good. Are you all right? And she's like, yeah. I'm, are you okay? I'm like, no, you're projected. <laughs> like, especially because after the finale reunion, that was a hard weekend for both of us. Yeah. <laughs> and so she was checking in on me, and I'm checking in on her. And I'm like, no, we're going to talk about your stuff. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. How are you? Uh, but Asia is very much that. She looks out. She is so old. <laughs> there's, there's no other way to put it. The first thing that we learned about Asia in our group message was that she has all the memes and gifts you could possibly think of. Really? Just ready. Like, it's like when grandma finds the internet. Uh -huh. Like, Asia will pull out the weirdest memes. For, and you're like, how did you go? And we all know her captions can be crazy. Yeah. And so it's just like, how are you doing? And she's so random. <laughs> and my birthday, I posted a photo, and she said everything but happy birthday. On she was like, I need that dress. Where do you get them shoes from? I'm like, just say happy birthday and move on. <laughs> like, but I love that girl. <laughs> What's something about Asia that we don't know? I think we see a very pulled together Asia at almost all times. What's what's something that we haven't seen? Asia is, she can just, it's just how funny she is, because it's so random. It's like, because she would just look at you and figure you out without, and so she looked at me, she was like, oh, I know Vixen, she like them brown Mexican boys, she want, she want her a little Latin boy to, and I was like, We've been talking to Asia. Because <laughs> like, I don't even think that she knew that my boyfriend at the time was Mexican, but she clocked me like that. I was probably looking at Vanjie a little too close. <laughs> Just a little, Just a little close. close. You were like, hmm. And I was busted. Asia got me. <laughs> All right, look at all. Do you have anything further to say on this matter? Because we don't need to beat a dead horse. I know we've talked about this quite a bit. Uh, de have you you said in the main show that you just you distance is the best way to handle y'all's relationship? Yeah, because I don't know what's wrong with her, and I can't fix it. <laughs> so, so just leave me, leave me alone. Oh, um, but yeah, the only other thing I would say further than that is, you know, she calls herself the Elephant Queen. Elephants are African. Okay, look at her. <laughs> Aquaria. That bitch is funny. Mm. <laughs> Aquaria is like one of those people where I'm like, this is why I fight. Because when you hash stuff out, you get to the bottom of it and mm. you, you get an understanding. And I feel like had we not had our arguments, we would not be friends right now because we got to the point. I was like, this is what you're doing that's pissing me off. And she was like, well, this is why I did it. And I was like, well, when you do that, this happens. She was like, okay, got it. All right, I'm going and that is why you fight with people, because you need to have a resolution. And so I'm so glad that we like had our fight, because we wouldn't be tight today if we didn't fix that shit. I mean, when the two of you are together, it seems like it's a very hell of a fashion moment. <laughs> yes! Because y'all both are really giving those looks. Yeah, and she's just like, because she is, you know, she's a little type A, you know, she says exactly what she's thinking. And I love that, I love to see people do that. And so like, I just eat it up and she just, cause most people when she's talking kind of like, are like, eh, like, cause everybody wants to know like, what is the real Aquarius? Uh -huh. And I'm just like, do you go back? And like, not to put her under the bus or anything, but anytime I've ever seen her go off, like if something's not right or something, it's completely justified. You know, she works hard for what she does. And if something's out of place, you know, it needs to be. And I'm just like, <laughs> Cause you know, like people think, oh, she's young. She doesn't know she's there. She knows exactly what the hell she's doing. It doesn't. You don't get there by accident. Yeah. At that age, so I love that girl. And she's not afraid to uh, stop the show and tell somebody in the audience they better get it together. I love that moment when she told them, "We do not throw drinks at my guests." That's the kind of queen that you want representing your crown. Yeah. I, I'm here. <laughs> yes. Look at her. 
and it looks like you did a lot of looking at her <laughs> during the season because you were you were you were checking out that trade. Listen, <laughs> it was two days without a man, and I was already looking. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, Vanjie is that's that's my girl. She and like her and Mayhem are like the kind of queens that like. I can party with. Like, they they get it. They can go all night. Because I, Chicago, we have clubs open real, real late. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, we going out? Okay, now let's go to the afters. Like, and they're like, so Vanjie can hang. Uh-huh. It was the first thing. And she's just funny as hell. And I love being around Vanjie because it doesn't matter where we are. I could be in plain sight, but you hear Vanjie before you see me. <laughs> so there's been times where I'm like, oh, you... You want to take a, here? I'll take a picture of you guys. Nobody even notices that Vixen is there because they're just like ah, and I'm like, I get to relax today. Yes, <laughs> like, I, Vanjie is cool as fuck. Now, were you as surprised as everyone else was when the Miss Vanjie backwards happened, or did you have a feeling that people were gonna really take to that? Oh, I we knew very early that that was, I was one of the first people to like repeat it, mm-hmm. like one once she was out of the work room, and it was just like, because it was so random, we knew Rue liked it, and it was just like, this is gonna be amazing. And every time that we would get like to see her for a second, we were like, you're gonna be fine, trust me, you're, you're good. Because we were so heartbroken, because everybody was afraid to go home first. Yeah. And she was so sweet that we were like, we gotta figure out a way to like, like show her that it's good, we love you, yada yada. And so like, yeah, we were, every time we saw her, we were like, trust me girl, you got nothing to worry about, you're gonna be good. And She's killing it. And it she certainly <laughs> is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at Ha! For part two of Look at Ha, click here. For more incredible episodes of Look at Ha, click down here. And don't forget to subscribe! subscribe! <laughs>